Hello, my name is Zachary Powell. I'm a video producer, and today I'm going to show you how you clean your HD screens. The same methods you would use to clean your HD TV screen would be the same methods used to clean your computer display. Now, the first thing you want to do is check your manual. Make sure there's not any special procedures or concerns you have to worry about. After that, if there's none of those, what you don't want to do is use paper towels on it. Don't grab a paper towel and like I got a smudge and just wipe dry paper towel. Do not do it. These fibers will scratch your screen or ruin your screen. Do not use this. Do not use all-purpose cleaner. Don't use Windex or anything like that. I know it says all-purpose. It's not meant to clean your your screens and your HD TVs. You're just going to ruin them that way. What um, you can use, and I recommend, is just canned air. Just you, what you want to do is lightly use it to just lightly blow off any big heavy particles. Sometimes this is all you need to do. You want to be very lightly about it. You know, just be careful. You don't want to turn upside down and freeze your screen. Now, if that is not enough, the next thing what you want to do is you want to shut off your screen and you're going to use a solution. Now, you can go and order your solution online that actually recommends to use on HD TV screens and mo computer monitors. If you don't want to spend the money on this, you can actually go to the store and just get rubbing alcohol. Get as the highest proof possible. This is 91%. And then you're going to mix this with water. I would do no more than one part alcohol versus two part water. And you don't need a lot just very little bit of solution. Now to actually do the wiping of the screen you want to go and use this microfiber cloth. They come in different colors and different sizes. These are the same cloths that you use to wipe down your eyeglasses or sunglasses. Um, the reason why they work is in their name, microfibers. The fibers are so microscopic they won't scratch this, the screen because they're too small to actually etch into the screen. So the actual process of cleaning would be, I recommend that you spray the cloth in a little corner, just one spray. The reason I don't recommend spraying the screen because you don't want to overspray the screen and have your liquid uh, drip down into the screen and causing damage. So that why I sp that's why I spray the cloth. And then what you do is you're going to lightly just wipe the screen, very lightly. Don't put pressure on it because you can damage the screen. You don't want to have streaks or or running uh, solution coming down, so it's used very little bit, and you very use very, very light pressure, and just go back and forth and wipe off any particles or any liquid that you may have. And then when that's done, what I recommend to do is just flip it around and use another corner that you did not spray, a dry side, and just lightly do a circle motion and just make sure it's all nice and dry and there's no streaks. This way you prevent against the streaks. Just make sure it's all nice and dry and all the particles are off. And uh, when that's done, you can go ahead and turn back on your TV and watch your favorite TV show or movie. And that was some basic tips to uh, clean your flat panel display screens.